Let's take a look at the adaptive immune response TH cell phenotypes. When we have a naive T cell that is actually presented a particular T cell epitope by the dendritic cell with the appropriate co-stimulation and a particular interaction with the production of interleukin-12 or interferon gamma will differentiate that naive T cell into what we know as a Th1 cell. This Th1 phenotype is characterized by the production of several cytokines such as TNF-alpha, interleukin-2, interferon gamma, and interleukin-18. This is important because these cytokines target a key effector cell that is called macrophage. The macrophages will be associated with a Th1 response. They are activated by these Th1 cells. And they deal with intracellular pathogens, with tissue repair, foreign bodies. So this is the most common inflammatory response that we have dealing with the different danger signals, including, for instance, when we cut ourselves or even when we have a, a burn, when we burn ourselves or foreign bodies uh, like, you know, splinter or intracellular pathogens, which is very well known. The mechanism by which the macrophages deal with this danger signal is driven by the interaction from the dendritic cell to the co-stimulatory cell, that original interaction is going to make sure that this phenotype is the Th1 and that these macrophages will be there activated, ready to produce either phagocytosis, direct killing of those intracellular pathogens, or oftentimes when they cannot actually kill the pathogen, they could also produce a granuloma formation either around the foreign body or in the case of tuberculosis, the bacillum, but this granuloma will not allow that danger signal to spread. So it's, there's different ways that macrophages defend our bodies. And this is all driven by that T helper phenotype TH1. This is also a mechanism that plays an important role in hypersensitivity type 4 to either different kinds of foreign antigens, or it could also be another foreign antigen could be a drug. So immunogenicity, that's cellular immunogenicity, could be uh, resulting from macrophage activation against the drug when this particular dendritic cell presents the drug as a signal that is dangerous. In another interaction with different co-stimulatory factors and different T cell receptors to those epitopes, the interleukin-4 environment will now differentiate the T helper cell into a Th2 phenotype with a characteristic production of cytokines that include interleukin-4, interleukin-5, interleukin-13, and interleukin-25. Note that the cytokines produced by different phenotypes of the T cell do not overlap. They're very characteristic and different. These cytokines will, in turn, stimulate basically eosinophils. This TH2 response is the way the body has differentiated the, the response to deal with parasites, allergens, and drugs as antigens. And the typical mechanism will be atopic, mediated by the production of IgE, or it could be anybody mediated by IgG or IgM. It can also cause mast cell degranulation. And it is responsible for hypersensitivity types 1, 2, and 3. Finally, the other key phenotype for this response would be when the interaction between the co-stimulation and the particular T cell receptor that is engaged by the epitope produces either interleukin-1, interleukin-6, interleukin-21, or interleukin-23, all of them in the presence of TGF-beta. This is the situation where a cocktail or a combination of cytokines 
with the mandatory presence of TGF beta with this stimulation will differentiate the T cell into a TH17. And the cytokines that characterize the TH17 are the interleukin 17 cytokines, interleukin 21, and also TNF alpha. In this case, the target cell is a neutrophil. So what is that completes the associated response? Well, the TH17 response typically deals with extracellular pathogens, like fungi infections. So we now have completed the typical responses that we need with three different TH phenotypes. And the mechanism of the TH17 is basically production of antimicrobial peptides, inflammatory reactions, the barrier integrity, for instance, from the neutrophils on the skin, or the, uh, the GI tract, or the respiratory tract is, is very, very important to maintain the danger signals from causing disease. This is also one of the potential mechanisms for hypersensitivity type 4. So hypersensitivity type 4, which is also called delayed type hypersensitivity, it's, it could be either a Th1 or a Th17 response. Hypersensitivity types 1, 2, 3 are, on the other hand, Th2 responses.